Hey guys, my name is Hope Burns and welcome to another gun review for Arctic Combat. So today with me here is Screw, Yo Screw. Hey mate. And we're here with the Beretta M82A1. So let's just get to the thing. Let's just get to this sniper rifle. I'll just, uh, <laughs> it was suggested by iLikes by the way. So thanks for suggesting. And yeah. So what are we gonna talk about first? Damage. Damage, damage. Don't you agree? Yeah, sure, sure. If you want to talk about the damage first, let's do it. Do you want All to damage. just you take the damage? I'll take something else. Okay. Well, the damage is pretty good for a sniper rifle. It often comes with a one-shot kill, although it does tank a lot. Yeah, and it, that's expected from the sniper rifle in this game. Yeah. Or you already probably know that this game tanks a lot because of. The hit markers not being 100% uh, sure. on, spot. on spot. I do agree. Yeah, and the net code for this game is pretty bad, but that's a whole another thing. Yeah, sometimes uh, like the, when we're talking about the damage, it's never one shot kill and it's never like tank shot. But if you shoot the guy in the legs or in the arms or somewhere near there, uh, it's always a two shot kill. That's, that's pretty much it about the damage. So let's let's get over to the ac to, to the accuracy. Uh, it's a little bit weird to talk about the accuracy with a sniper. Yeah, okay. it's, it is pretty good for a sniper. First yeah. shot, oh, nice one. Thank you. No, first shot especially, but uh, the recoil after the first shot, you know, it jolts the rifle quite up. Here. It bounces up to the right side always. I never saw yeah. it go to the left side. No, 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 I think the first one is straight up. Yeah, yeah. Straight up to the right, yeah. <clears throat> but it's a semi-automatic uh, sniper rifle, so you would expect that. But there's more of an option to pick the Dragonite in the item shop, which does have so much recall, but, you know, semi-automatic yeah, Drag sniper rifles. Dragonite is semi-automatic and it's pretty much hated in this game. It's like an assault rifle. Yeah, so I guess the the Barret is the better choice yeah, if you don't want to get flame dead. It yeah. Has more power. Plus one of exactly. The, one of the biggest things you can talk with the Barret uh, at the accuracy is the um, no scoping, cause the no scoping with the Barret is Barret is pretty easily. As soon as you see the guy's name, you can just spray two bullets at him, and if you don't get him in two bullets, like me before, you're pretty much. Unaimed or bad <laughs> That's aimer. True. So <clears throat> I, I hate talking about the snipers. I, I really sometimes don't know what to say, but it's a live commentary, guys. We forgot to mention that, so don't hate yeah, us. Yeah, bear with us. Bear with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let, let's get to the maneuver ability, cause it's it's a sniper rifle, you know. Snipe oh, another no scope over there. That was sweet. That three fire. So the maneuverability of the uh, sniper, this, especially this sniper rifle, is pretty bad. I really hate it. Like it's low as shit. Um, I mean, it's heavy as shit, but I don't know. Do you like it? I don't. Well, I personally do not like this rifle. My personal favorite is the Hecate. Yeah, I would say that. But you can't uh, count this as a bad rifle. A lot of people use it and they use it pretty well. Like me? I like you, yeah, you, you use everything well. Nah, I hate the AK. Oh, I'm that sure is that true. Move over there. <laughs> but yeah, Beretta, what else can we say? The looks, the looks are pretty beast. It looks like a yeah. modified fucking snake. Um, fuck my life. So, Beretta. Well, I don't know, you are pretty slow with it. It has a slow mobility, a very low mobility that is. Oh, I thought you meant that I'm slow with it. <laughs> no, basically everybody slows with it. Yeah, true, true, true on that. It costs... The good thing is it's oh. semi-automatic, so it doesn't bolt. Yeah, that, that's one good thing about it. 
if you're close to your enemy, you can just spray him. I mean, no matter how unpopular is it, you, you can do that. There is that option as well. Yeah. But the price that you need to pay for it, that's about 55,000 points in this game. Uh, yeah, I think if it's I, somewhere If you don't have cash, don't buy it. It's, it's just not worth it. The money. Yeah. Just because of the reason. Especially if you have... Yeah, the Barrett fucking beast sniper rifle you can use it if you can. You stay with your AKs, whatever, P90s, whatever do you use. This was... Yeah, for me, HK8 is always a better choice than the Barrett, but yeah, exactly. that's just me. So, this was Hope It Burns and Screw With You today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, um, see you later, guys. See you later, yeah. And a K7 review is coming up later. So, don't miss about that. But, yeah. Woo!